Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Monster Hunter Builds. Anyways, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you want me to get more of these. I only did one so far, and it's gotten considerably more views than my other stuff, so I figured I'd share another one with you. I call this one the electric slide blow. blow. I know, said that perfect. Anyways, point is, is that it's not electric, but you do the electric slide often. Reason why is that I got five ear plugs, five constitution, max health boost, because, you know, I can gym that in. Uh, max evade extender and bow charge plus that is the very rare one anyways um believe it or not the least important ones up bow charge plus it just fits nicely into the set what we're going to end up doing is here i'll do an investigation we'll do a challenging one actually we'll do a kushla door point being is that what we're going to end up trying to accomplish here is we are gonna take a dash juice on top of our max constitution and then we are going to slide and shoot and repeat with our evade extender. I uh, just got done beating Kushlador with this set and someone wanted to continue. I'm always a big fan of that. It always seems like people with great synergy. It's like, oh man, we did a great job. By the way, everybody disband. So, you know, I'm seeing if this person's wanting to come along. He seems like he's dragging his feet a little bit and yep, missed the boat. Come on. And gone. It's a tempered elder dragon. I promise you with the SOS, they're going to come out like, you know, nobody's business. So it's a really easy build. Um, here real quick. Luckily we got 50 minutes so I can just pop this in the air and then show you what we're looking at here. Um, just a little bit more, uh, you know, a little bit more in depth. So we got the Valhazic bow, fun stuff. Not really that big of an importance. Now, here's my helmet. We're going, you know, obviously for constitution. Now my earplugs are all done with my basal coil beta and my earplugs charm. That's, that's a tough one to get to upgrade it. To level two, you need the basal geese gem. To level three, you need the teoster gem. But you can pretty much see what I'm using here, and there's not really that much room for guessing what's gems and what's not. I mean, after I tell you vitality and the bow charge, I mean, that pretty much takes up the vast majority. Oh, and I use one constitution gem, which is not that challenging. And really, having four constitution versus five isn't really a game breaker at all. It just. It's just, you know, I get to have the completionist. And I don't really feel like having four constitution and then putting in something weird like, you know, vitality. Or not vitality, um, what's it called? Fortify. Because let's face facts, everybody's got fortify. So, yeah, you're going to eat coatings like nobody's business with this build. But basically this is what you'll be doing. You, you don't have to charge to start it off with, but it's always fun. So yeah, you'll be doing this a whole bunch. And you know what? It might not do the DPS of a Dragon Pierce build, but I do find it very fun. First and foremost, though, I made a mistake. We got to drink some Red Bull. Okay, now we can play. Well, granted, you don't need Constitution if you're willing to go and have a whole, drink a whole bunch of Dash Juice all the time uh, for most builds. But Dash Juice plus Constitution allows you to do some real silly things. You just need to, You know what? I'm, why am I doing this? I'm too excited about playing it. I'm not even focusing on the fact that I got... I can just get there. Wait. Come on now. There we go. Yep, just shoot, slide, slide. And with that evade extender, we can pretty much move around if we need to get closer much easier than probably you'd expect in the beginning.
Now what is fun is that if you just shoot your rapid fire like this, normally you go to charge one, two, three, and then if you have bow charge you'll go to four and then it'll repeat. But if you're sli all if you're sliding and shooting, it stays on the top level of, of uh, charge either three or four, depending on if you have that extra gem in there. So you know, I'm getting those constant, you know, the right amount. Now, yeah, I just, I could have made a full circle around him, but, you know, you gotta love that, uh, you gotta love that wind power of Kushaladora. Now, what's cool about this bow is, is, I mean, obviously you want to have power coatings. You'll eat, you'll eat through them much faster than probably any other build. But um, it also comes with sleep coating, so you know if you're playing with people that know what they're doing, or if you just want to take the risk that someone's not going to attack them. Here, we'll go. We'll go with sleep coating first. Let's let's gamble and see if somebody's actually going to go and hit a sleeping monster. Oh, yep. See, back and forth. If I need to readjust, I'll go this way. Now I'll go this way. Keep on backing up. Now I need to get closer. See, now I'm realizing my angle's messed up. But the point is, is that, look at that. I was able to move around and, oh my gosh, are you serious? Like, we're not at the beginning of the game anymore, people. Like, I don't get mad about people dying. I don't get mad about me dying. I get mad whenever things like sleep bombing, something that should be easily... You know, I mean, it should be easily understood by now. Putting something to sleep, you bomb it. Like, that's something I feel like you should understand the concept of by the time you reach high rank, not by the time you're done with the game, which is where this is. But yeah, like, right now we're not doing too much damage because of not only the distance, but it is a Kushaladora. But that damage will add up pretty quickly and the mobility is really second to none on a lot of aspects unfortunately there's a lot of times it's hard for you to even tell what damage you're doing mainly because you are you know you're shooting off screen because it stays locked on basically to whatever general direction you were at have a little bit more dash juice now don't get me wrong you don't have to spam having dash juice but you know I I kind of farmed Diablos to get not for dash extract but for a few rare drops on a few different weapons so or for a few different weapons so basically I kind of have dash juice just lying around Especially when you're fighting someone that's a little less mobile and a little more vulnerable, this build definitely starts to shine. If you need to move around some more, you can keep on moving around as long as you don't get hit by the tornado. That's a level 2 shot, that's a level 3, and that's a level 4. But I will say, yeah, Kishaladora is not being a fan of uh, letting anybody touch him right now. So this way you can see what kind of damage yeah see 
you're not going to be doing that great of damage. I mean, I've gotten it whenever it's more accurate up to the 40s or so. You're not going to do any crazy Dragon Piercer damage with this build. You're not you're not building towards it all. I mean, you're not even really assisting in damage. Your uh, your skills aren't really assisting your damage output. It's more a matter of your mobility. And I mean, frankly, that's it. But I find this to be a very fun build. Especially when you're like, am I still hitting him? And I mean, at this point, whenever you had only that much stamina, you normally would you would have already been done. I mean, most people can slide th slide and shoot three times. Right now, we got slide one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, that's better. But I don't got to worry about fighting to get to charge, you know, the top level charge doing this kind of build. Yeah, I can mix in power shots on this as well. Um, it really just works out for whatever you need as long as you don't faint like I just did. By the way, everybody should be cool and bring nutrients, mega nutrients, or max potions. Last thing, you know, anytime I see somebody cart, the last thing I want to do is see them cart again within like two minutes of coming back because you pretty much can guarantee if they did that, it's because their health isn't as high as it used to be. So they're basically not only likely, you know, not only did they drop the ball and die like I just did, obviously, but they're going to do it again. And if they and if it's a three cart till the mission fail, you pretty much just are doing everything you can to keep the person that just died away. Which is definitely not fun. Did I get his tail? Nope, not yet. Oh, they actually brought him back down. That I didn't see coming. I'll be honest, I was wasn't looking that as optimistically as I thought I should be. Um, okay. Now, I will say that I wouldn't be busting out the dash juice three times in one in one fight. That's definitely more than I ever would do. But, you know, for the sake of this video, I wanted you to see, like, what you can do. You need to get out of, you know, if I need to go one way or need to go another, need to get out of there. I'm making it happen, so. And this team seems like it's doing well off enough. So it's like, yeah, we're shooting 66, like consistently right there for a little bit. Which all it would take is me being at C. Now, that's the fun point right there is that you saw my guy turn around in the middle of that slide. So it doesn't lock on, it locks on a invisible point, not necessarily the monster that you're fighting. In order to do that, you have to re you know, you have to re-aim with the right trigger, which is, uh, or with the right stick, which isn't hard, but it's definitely something that I need more practice with. And there we go. Who would have known? All I had to do was collect a footprint, and that's how we take him down. Let's see what we got. Honestly, at this point, I've I've hunted this elder dragon enough um, to get most of the stuff I want. I mean, you know, considering augments are a thing. I mean, always looking for gems is great. However, um, I'm right now on the hunt for augment stones. So that's really where my big thing is. I'm pretty sure this is the special edition emote. So, I paid $10 for this. 
it better be worth it. It better be doing a lot of damage to an already dead dragon. But as always, before I go, I just want y'all to see what I might get on the rewards. It's always exciting. Okay, we got a hard armor. Oh, we got, yeah, so that's, that's nice. Um, okay. We'll take you here. Let's just take the candor real quick. I don't want any of that. We'll take you. I mean, eventually you just collect enough things that you're like, you know what, I'd, I'd rather have the money. All right, two earplugs, right? Oh, hot mess. That's crazy exciting for this build. Guys, I'm about to pee my pants a little bit. Y'all take it easy. I'll catch you next time. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hopefully I'll make more videos. I'll probably get the exact gems I've been looking for the more I do this.